بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو انادر لیکچر آن ٹول اینڈ آئی ڈیزائن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ماڈیول ٹو دیٹ از ڈیزائن آف کٹنگ ٹولس آئی ہیو ڈیوائڈیڈ دس ماڈیول ان فور پارٹس سو ٹوڈے ان فرسٹ پارٹ وی ول ڈسکس کٹنگ ٹول مٹیریلس ان دا سیکنڈ لیکچر ان دس ماڈیول وی ول ڈسکس سنگل پوائنٹ کٹنگ ٹولس دین وی ول ڈسکس ملٹیپل پوائنٹ کٹنگ ٹولس and in the last lecture in this module we will uh, analyze the cutting conditions uh, so uh, that is the flow of this module so the learning objectives of uh, today's lecture are to understand the properties and use of the following materials to make cutting tools so we will discuss high speed steels uncoated carbides coated carbides ceramics and cubic boron nitride and diamond and then we will compare the general properties of these materials in cutting tool applications are uh, using uh, uh, tables and uh, graphs of uh, uh, different properties that that are uh, there in these different cutting tool materials so there are two principal aspects uh, related to cutting tools in machining the first is tool material and the second is tool geometry so now we are talking about tool material in the subsequent lectures we will focus on tool geometry so first we will discuss high speed steel or hss for short hss are highly oiled tool steels capable of maintaining hardness at elevated temperatures better than high carbon and low alloy steels so before hss were developed high carbon steel was the most commonly used cutting tool material but hss helped the machinists to uh, machine a part at a higher speed at a much higher speed than was possible using high carbon steels so that is why it was named as high speed steel so apart from higher hardness hss also had higher hot hardness uh, hss have high toughness so as a result they also have high resistance to fracture and they have good wear resistance as well uh, but we will see that the cutting tools that we will discuss today the carbides uh, the ceramics and uh, uh, cbn for example among them hss as a family of cutting tool materials have the uh, lowest hardness uh, they are relatively inexpensive they are very frequently used uh, because of their low cost and other properties and as per aisi classification there are basically two types of uh, hss we have tungsten type and that is designated as t grades and we have molybdenum type that is designated as m grades an example of uh, t grade hss is t1 the grade t1 so that has 18% tungsten 4% chromium and 1% vanadium so it is designated as 1841 hss as well and an example of m grade is grade m1 so it has typically 8% molybdenum 4% chromium and 1% vanadium so it is also designated as 841 hss actually t1 hss was the first uh, grade that was developed hss made cutting tools are still very widely used and they are especially more suitable under these three conditions so first when the tool is cylinder so if the tool for example has a higher uh, length to diameter ratio for example then this material hss is more suitable uh, to make such cause such tool undergoes a lot of bending vibrations and tensile stresses etc so examples are the drills the reamers and end mills 
The second situation is where the tool is uh, having complex geometry. For example, uh, the drill bit, the gear cutter, the milling cutter, the brooch, tap, etc. So these uh, cutting tools have complex geometry. So uh, they are difficult to be made. We have to make the cutting tools using some, some process as well. So if the cutting tool material is too hard, it is difficult to make the complex features like there are uh, on the end mills or the ones we find on, on the drill bit or the brooch. The third situation is when the tool needs high impact strength. So for example, for uh, many roughing operations or what we call interrupted cutting, So face milling is an example of uh, interrupted cutting. So in these situations, HSS is more suitable. So in summary, we can say that generally where uh, higher toughness of the cutting tool is required or where are too many tensile forces where the tool can bend or there are more chances of tool fracture then in all these situations, HSS is more suitable. Uh, to be used. We can actually coat HSS tools with a thin film of, for example, titanium nitride or titanium carbonitride in order to increase the hardness as well. Because at the edge of the cutting tool where the cutting is taking place, you need higher hardness. And at the core of the tool, you need higher toughness. So we can actually improve the hardness of HSS cutting tools at the surface or at the cutting edge by coating them. So in a way we can have both a better toughness as well as better hardness of the cutting tool. Thank you very much.